Meet Ubuntu DDE, the most beautiful Ubuntu-based Linux distribution that comes with the deepened desktop environment. This is based on Ubuntu 23.04, which is the latest version of Ubuntu at that time. In this video, I will showcase the look and feel of Ubuntu DDE, going through various system apps and settings. This will provide you with a basic idea of this OS, helping you decide whether you want to install it or not. This is the File Explorer, which is the same as what we get on other distributions, but it has a slightly better user interface. At the bottom, you will find all your disks and your folders on the top. And you see these options when you click right. And next is the Calendar app, where you will notice the larger font size, which I find better. Typically, calendar apps tend to have very small font sizes. To see all your opened windows, click this icon right here. You can press the Alt plus Tab keys to switch between the open windows. The control panel where you can control the utilities. And when you click that battery icon, you will land to the battery settings. Here, you can control battery-related settings, such as enabling power saving or high performance mode, as well as a few other settings. You can control the volume and brightness level here. In the control panel, there is a tile for search. When you click on it, it will open the search bar, allowing you to search for software or maybe files too. To access the notification panel, click on the time in your taskbar. In the notification panel, you have the option to add a few widgets, though there are only two available, the world clock and memory monitor. I found the user interface to be pretty awesome, but at times it feels a bit laggy, with occasional animation glitches. On the right side in your taskbar, you'll find the power button, where you can access power-related settings, including suspend, logout, reboot, and more. And it's soft. Subscribe now. Jumping to the system settings. In the settings page, you can see that larger icons enhance the UI. You can find these options in the account settings. The display settings allow you to enable the nightlight, change the display size, and modify other basic settings. The default apps, nothing much to explore here. The personalization section is quite interesting that offers a wealth of exciting features. Within this section, you can apply a wide range of themes to truly customize your experience. You can also easily modify the accent color to suit your preferences and select from a diverse collection of icons to further individualize your interface. Additionally, you'll find options for customizing the cursor style, making it easy to create a look and feel that's uniquely your own. In the desktop section, you can customize the dock panel, including its style, position, and visibility. The efficient mode is classic Windows kind of style. Here are all the options that you can explore. At the bottom, you have options to control or adjust the transparency and rounded corners of windows. You also have a magic lamp option which makes the windows minimize animation like Mac. And then we have all the basic settings, network, Bluetooth, sound, etc. The user interface is impressive with improvements made everywhere. This analog clock looks particularly cute. This concludes the discussion of system settings. We will now move on to the other applications. And, uh, we will go through the terminal. You can easily change the theme and see its preview by hovering the cursor over it. In the terminal settings, you can make changes such as changing the opacity, adding the blur effect, and making other modifications. The NeoFetch command is a popular bash script that displays system information in an aesthetically pleasing way. You can see here. Next, we have the App Store. On the left side, you can find apps by category, such as messaging, internet, games, and developer tools. 
At the bottom, you can see your installed apps and check for updates. That is all for this video. I hope you found it enjoyable to watch. Please feel free to click the like button if you enjoyed the video. And if you have any questions, please ask them in the comments. Thank you for watching. Here is the installation preview, which is not very complex. Select your time zone based on your current location, wherever you are in the world, and then thoroughly test your keyboard to ensure that every key is functioning. We have partition options. You can install it alongside your current operating system, or you can erase everything and install only the new one. I usually choose the Erase Disk option. Enter your username and passwords and click Next. You still have the option to go back and change the settings if you have selected any incorrectly. Then, click the Install button to begin the installation process.